Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. So in this video, we learn about Central User Administration and Security. So what is the Central User Administration? Using Central User Administration, you can maintain user master records centrally in one system. Changes to the information are then automatically distributed to the child systems. This means that you have an overview in the central system of all user data in the entire system landscape. Okay. So we have spoken about CUA in the last few videos since we have started the security concepts. Okay. So central user administration, it means that all the user master records are maintained centrally in one system okay so everything is administered and maintained from here and it's distributed to the child systems okay so this means that we will have an overview in the central system of all the user data in the entire system landscape so here so how many systems you have in the landscape so the in among that one is the central system and the rest all are maintained as child systems okay so all the user master records are created and maintained in the central system and they are distributed to the child systems so in the entire landscape all the users they are maintained in the central system and you can view and manage the users centrally in one system distribution of the data is based on functioning early application link enabling landscape in this way, data can be exchanged in a controlled manner and is kept consistent. An ALE system group is used by the central user administration to distribute user data between a central system and a child systems linked by ALE. Okay, so here the central system and the child systems, the data is distributed among these two systems in the form of ALE. Okay, so we have not discussed much about ALE since the start of this training. So ALE is a way in which data is exchanged between two SAP systems or SAP and a non-SAP system. Okay, so uh, maybe further I'll create one video about ALE. Okay, we'll discuss it separately. But as of now, ALE means application link enabling. Okay, so this means that it you know it's a mechanism through which data is exchanged between two SAP systems or it can be an SAP and a non-SAP system also. Okay, so here when we talk about CUA, so the data is exchanged between the central system and the child system in form of ALE. CUA data is distributed asynchronously between the application systems in an ALE environment. This ensures that it still reaches the target system even if it was unreachable when the data was sent. Okay, so here the data transmission is done asynchronously. Okay, so asynchronously means it's it's one concept only. When something is done asynchronously means the source does not wait for the target operation, the operation to be completed. Okay, so here the data is just released from the source system. Okay, so at the moment when it, when it was released, it might not reach the target due to some reasons like a network issue or whatever it is. Okay, but it makes sure the data is transmitted to the target system. Okay, so uh, in ALE, data is distributed asynchronously from the central system to the child system. Okay, one system in the CUA. ALE environment is defined as the central system. The central system is linked with every child system in both directions. The child systems are not linked to each other with the exception of the central system which is itself a child system from the point of view of CUA. Okay, so just make this point clear. Okay, so we have one central system Okay, and we have n number of child systems. The central system is linked to each of the child system in bidirectional okay and the child systems are not connected to each other you only have to transmit data from the central to the child system okay and it can be done in the reverse mechanism also from the child system to the central system but the child systems are not connected with each other now the system which is configured as CUA central user administration okay 
So say like I have chosen my development system as the CUA. Okay, so its name is some GB0. Okay, so from GB0 point of view, GB0 itself is the general system and the child system. Okay, so now in GB0, I have created the user master records of all the other systems in the landscape. So similarly, in this GB0, I will create the user master records of that system, right? Okay, so the central system will function as the both the central system as well as the child system. Okay, now setting up CUA. How do you set up central user administration? Okay, now you create logical systems, you assign logical systems to a client, create system users, create RFC destinations, create central user administration, set distribution parameters for fields, synchronize company addressing, transfer users. Now so these are the steps to set up the central user administration okay so in the first slide we have talked that cua works on an early mechanism the data is transmitted from the central system to the child system using early okay so for early it's nothing but a data transmission technique okay so here we have to define the logical systems rfc destinations the users to be used in these rfc des destinations okay then you create a central user administration you set distribution parameters you synchronize company addresses and you transfer the users okay so now just don't get confused okay and don't worry about all these steps okay so in the end what we have means the source in the target system you need to have two rfcs okay so it works using an rfc mechanism so in the RFCs, you have to create a user to communicate with the target system. Okay, so you have RFCs, you have users and you have logical systems. Okay, now the other thing is you create partner profiles to exchange data between the source and the target. Okay, so these partner profiles, they use a mechanism of logical systems. Okay, so they use logical systems. It uses RFCs okay and in in that partner profile you you define everything you define the distribution parameters okay and you create the central user administration okay and then the other thing is you synchronize you have to synchronize company addresses between the source and the target system you have to synchronize company addresses and then you have to transfer users yeah, it's, it's very simple it works on ALDM again so you will need to have partner profiles okay which in turn have rfc destinations you ha you need to set up some parameters in those partner profiles okay so all these things like partner profiles and their parameters we'll discuss in the early concept okay so just don't worry about it now just think like early in early mechanism you will have some partner profiles okay and then you have to define the rfcs the logical systems okay the, the users in these rfc destinations you define some parameters in those partner profiles and the additional step is you have to synchronize the company addresses and then you have to transfer users and the most important step is you have to create the central user administration okay you have to select a system to work as the central system and then all the other systems they work as the child system now the examples used in the procedures refer to the following system landscape okay so this is an example you have system adm you have system production prt and you have system crm now administration system adm it has two clients 070 and 075 the production system prt has clients 324 and 800 okay and the production system CRM has client 800 okay now the central system of the CUA is the logical this ADM system is used as the CUA okay so this is so we have a logical system this and the system ADM client 070 all other clients in the logical system are then linked to the CUA as child system so so this is what I wanted to make clear now you have ADM system with two clients here you have two clients and here you have one client so first you create uh, why this logical systems I have mentioned here that we have to create logical systems right so that's what so here you have two clients okay so only one client you will choose because user master in terms of user master record when we speak about user master records it is client dependent 
okay so in this ADM okay this 070 client is chosen as the central system the other client 075 will be the child system okay and the 070 user must records itself will work as the child system internally okay so here even though the system has two clients one client will work as the cua the other client will be the child system and rest of all these three will be obviously the child systems okay so here this 070 is linked with this 075 it will be linked with these three individually and all these four are not connected again the child systems okay so now you understand like why this logical system you know creating logical system is required say like in the central system you have n number of clients only one client will function as the central user administrator as the central system the all the other clients in the system will work as child systems only okay so and uh, similarly all the other clients and all other systems will work as the child systems the central system will be linked to each of these client systems and the child systems okay and the child systems will not be connected to each other okay so this is how a cua is set up okay so logical systems okay rfc destinations will have users you set up the central user administration system you create partner profiles and you set all the relevant parameters in that you synchronize the company addresses and then you transfer users using ALE mechanism okay now we move on to the next section removing cua now removing a child system from a central user administration now say like i want to remove one child system from this cua setup so you have this report this rstel cua okay now you delete the message types of the partner profiles delete the child system from the ALE distribution model and restrict authorizations of system user so that's what as i said it works on ALE mechanism ALE distribution model okay so you, the data is exchanged in terms of partner profiles so you delete the corresponding partner profiles of that child system okay so you run this report in the cua system you delete the corresponding partner profiles that you delete the that particular ALD distribution model okay and you restrict authorizations of the system user so what the user which is used in the rfc you will modify the authorization such that the cua will not work okay this is for deleting one child system in the central system from the cua okay so when we talk about ALE we have partner profiles and we have distribution models okay so in these partner profiles you have ports ports are nothing but logically they are nothing but rfc destinations okay then you delete those partner profiles and the distribution model from the central system of that particular child system which you do not want anymore and you restrict authorizations of the system user now removing central user administration completely what happens here you run the same report you delete all part number files you delete the entire early distribution models and you restrict authorizations of system user here you delete everything okay so in for deleting one child system you only delete the distribution model and the partner profile of that child system okay but in when you want to completely delete the cua you delete all button profiles you delete all ALE distribution models and you restrict the authorizations of all the system users which are used in the rfc destinations so this is how uh, we remove central user administration you can remove any system at any point of time you can reconnect it as well as you can completely remove the cua in your landscape okay so this is the report rstl cua okay for removing cua in in a landscape okay so uh, apart uh, you have many advantages of using this cua okay so here everything is maintained centrally that's a very important advantage especially it's you know useful for auditing auditing purpose and everything okay and you just have to maintain it in one system and you distribute it to whatever system you want okay so uh, you need not log into each system and create users there and, and do all those things 
okay uh, so the security administrator if he has sufficient they'll be given uh, access only to the central user administration more access okay so uh, in every system you need not run pfcg and all those things okay so creating roles everything users and everything so you do it in the central user administration and you know it's very useful for auditing okay so uh, the security has to follow some compliance okay so they do some auditing so it's very useful in that case okay because everything can be viewed in a single shot from one central system okay and the other important thing is we have discussed that the cua it works on ald mechanism okay so we have some distribution models which in turn have some partner profiles in those partner profiles you define some fields okay you you define the logical systems the ports ports are nothing but the logical it uses an rfc to connect two logical systems okay so uh, we have discussed like how to set up a cua okay so this example you can understand how cua works and how it how it's set up and removing cua removing cua means removing one system or removing completely cua from your landscape okay and the other advantage of the cua is like after you uh, create and distribute okay you have uh, the security administrator he can view the logs also he can display the logs of this creation and distribution from the central system to the target system okay so there he can analyze whether the data is completely transferred in a correct way from the sender to the receiver okay so uh, i think the transaction is scul okay so using that particular transaction uh, the logs are uh, viewed okay you can check the logs for errors or whether the distribution was done correctly or not from the in the central system you can check that okay so uh, nowadays uh, most of the in most of the landscapes cua is only used okay rather than you know maintaining users user master records individually in each of the systems most of the projects they use central user administration only okay so this is because it's easily you know administration is much more simplified okay you have to do everything and you log into one system you do everything there and you just distribute it you just send it from the source to the receiver okay and this works especially well okay when you know uh, what you do is in the wc like generally the production system is generally the production system is not chosen as the cua the development systems generally uh, you know they work as cua okay so you create everything there because roles have to be developed tested and then only transported to production right so that's why you do you do the development and you know uh, the everything in the development system so it's chosen as the cua now uh, when the the data is sent to the production it's it's generally done only in the weekends because uh, transportation of roles and users okay it's nothing but high mass data it puts load on the system so that's why generally during weekends uh, on saturdays or sundays all these users and roles okay they are then distributed from the development uh, development or you can choose the quality system whatever it is as the cua and generally on the weekends this data is moved into the production system okay so that's why this ald mechanism it works asynchronously okay so what we do is generally this partner profiles and everything there you have some options like to transmit the data immediately or asynchronously okay so generally they choose asynchronously in this cua okay so whenever you want the data to be in the production system then only you move it as and when you create and test it you don't move it in the production system okay so whenever you choose the cua set setup two things you have to remember generally the production systems don't work as cua the development system works as the central system okay and the data is transmitted asynchronously so that the data is not moved into production every now and then okay it's collected first okay it's sent out from the development system and whenever we want it into the production system through we run some jobs to pull the data 
okay so uh, this is how that's why ALE is asynchronous in CUA okay uh, and other thing which I want to mention here is uh, we have a very good note okay uh, so this is the note SAP note uh, one five nine double eight five. Okay, so SAP note is nothing but you can log on to the SAP service marketplace and you can view SAP notes. Okay, so they have information, very good information about their product releases, everything, each and everything which SAP has. So you can, uh, every note has a number. So this is the number of the note. Okay, CUA collective note for central user administration. So this is generally updated every now and then. So you can also have a look at this note. Okay. So in the latest releases of CUA, like, uh, you know, in most of uh, NetWeaver business client has been introduced nowadays. Okay. So in that PFCG has more additional functions. CUA has some additional functions. Okay. So you can have a look at this note to get the latest information about CUA. Okay. And it has all the information how to set up and maintain CUA. Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm done with this topic, central user administration. So we have discussed about what is CUA. It works on ALE mechanism and that is asynchronous mechanism. Okay. So I have discussed like how to set up the CUA. Okay. Uh, I have given an example also here and then how to remove a child system from a CUA or how to remove completely the CUA from your landscape okay so i have not gone into much more details okay don't worry about ALA at this point of time ALA is nothing but it's a mechanism to send data from one system to another sap system okay so here we talk about distribution models and partner profile so that's how the data is transmitted from the source to the target and this transmission is done asynchronously in cua okay and we set up logical systems because uh, say like in the CUA system you have n uh, because user master records are client dependent so that's why every client has its own logical system okay and the central system is linked to each of the child system okay so here the logical system mapping is done okay so and in the central system only one client works as the CUA all the other clients will be the it works as the central CUA system all the other clients they will be the child system so uh, this is all about setting up of cua and next we have discussed about removing cua removing a single child or removing cua completely okay so with this i end the topic central user administration so please keep on watching the other videos as well thank you